So this player is a complete free to play. You can see Minamoto logo on top right, which means he spent zero bucks and he has almost five billion kills plus more than 20k gems but it's for another video the question is how he did it well i made a little q a with him for his best tips to get more kills for free to play players by the way if you have good amount of kills just like oc and you are a complete free to play or a low spender let us know your kp and drop your best tip to get more kills in comment section down below let's go spartans what is your profession? <laughs> What's going on my beautiful governors? Welcome to any Rise of Kingdoms video. Last week we made a video and talked about getting more kills with T4 troops only just by doing some small adjustments. Today we have a follow-up video but this time we have a special guest. I did ask some questions to Oxygen. It's like Oxygen but it's Oxygen. And he was kind enough to reply and give us some tips about getting more kills as a free play player and he also has a YouTube channel link is in the description let's start with question one i asked him the key of getting kills as a complete free to play and his answer was getting kills it's always a matter of speed ups and resources more you have more you fight it is actually pretty simple isn't it because if your hospital is not full every single troop that wounded on the battle you can just heal them back and keep fighting but to do that you need resources and you need speed ups if you have those things more you can fight more which equals more kills but then i asked him what is the key of getting more resources and speed ups and his answer was you should chain barbarians for materials and speed ups and have at least a few farm accounts now you guys probably know what barb chaining is i can make a video about it if you guys don't know just let me know in the comment section down below but simply you just attack one barbarian but you hit other barbarians with aoe of your commanders so those other barbarians will hit your march and you will just simply kill those barbarians without spending any action points this is so important this is key to be an efficient free to play player in rise of kingdoms and that's why i usually recommend like a 5511 richard with a max ysg but if you don't have a max ysg fo flat is not that efficient is not that great but still a free decent replacement for your ysg i unfortunately cannot show how to chain barbarians right now because my hospital is full and i have to keep it full until immigration is completed now farm accounts in a perfect world ideally you want to have a dedicated farm account for each resource type one farm account for food one farm account for wood one for stone and maybe even more than one for gold this this is the perfect scenario and you want to just farm gems with your main account that's all i want to do farm gems with your main and have resources from your farm accounts but not everybody has that much time to manage that many farm accounts so my advice is have at least one or two farm accounts because it really do help you a lot in the kvk once you get a farm account in a decent spot it doesn't cost you a lot of time you're just gonna log into that account send your farmers to dedicated resource type and that's it just log out back just a few minutes but the problem is getting to that farm account to you know high city hall level so that you can have five marches and all that and i understand if you don't have a lot of time but have at least one or two farm accounts next question how about the best troop type and civilization and his answer was i play cavalry only i hate slow marches civilization is germany because free to play benefits such as training and action point recovery now first video on our channel 10 or 12 months ago it was a choosing your civilization guide and i'm so happy that after almost a year that guide is still relevant because Regardless of your troop type for free to play players, my advice was Germany. It gives you action point recovery, which means you will be able to kill more barbarians. And with the training speed bonus, you will be able to train more troops to fight more and also reinforce your rallies and reinforce your structures even more. And he's a cavalry main player and Germany is a cavalry civilization. As you can see, special unit is cavalry. So that is like the perfect civilization for OC and pretty much regardless of your troop type in my opinion for any free-to-play players and the movement speed portion of that answer is actually also so important because if you've been in any sort of high level kvk field fighting you know that it's all about going in dealing as much as damage you can and then retreating back and then going in again and in that scenario movement speed helps you a ton and cavalry is the fastest troop type in the game you go in you deal a lot of damage cavalry commanders deals a lot of skill damage xy nevsky john william you name it we will talk about his commanders in a second but being able to going into fights and then retreating back safely as fast as you can is so important but if you are not a full cavalry main 
don't worry because in our subscribers account review live streams hit subscribe if you don't want to miss the next one i always tell you let me show you my guan yu let's say you are playing with an infantry march I always advise you to get four pieces infantry set just like this one because four pieces of eternal empire gives you extra 10% march speed and on top of that this epic accessory wind scars if you get a special talented 10.5% extra march speed on top of that four pieces set bonus which is super super useful for your infantry marches not as fast as cavalry but still faster than a lot of other infantry marches you can go back deal as much as damage you can maybe do one or two skill cycles and then retreat back safely without losing your position without going into the enemy murder ball so that's why movement speed is very crucial then i asked him how about some general tips he says always refresh at around 50 percent hp if situation allows we talked about it in the last week's video how to get more kills with by using t4s only it is so crucial because having more resources and having more speed ups is just not enough you need to be efficient with the way you are spending them so once the health bar of your troops are at yellow around 50 percent you want to retreat because talked about it in that video card up in the top once it goes down to yellow you will have more severely wounded and one is gone <coughs> and one it goes and one it go and once it goes down to red you will have tons of severely wounded which means your hospital bill will be huge you don't want that because resources and speed ups are so precious for a free to play player the second thing was use 50 percent army expansion if you can now 50 percent army expansion is also so crucial because let me show you real quick i know these could be expensive if you don't have it use a 25 percent but always always use an expansion because once you use the expansion you are expanding your troop capacity right and if you expand your troop capacity one you will deal more damage two it will take a lot longer for your march to go down to 50 percent which means it's going to take longer for you to get more severely wounded that's why you definitely want to use an army expansion on top of that a 10 percent defense rune would be great if you don't have it just use a five percent one you will have bunch of these i don't recommend attack go with the defense rune every single time if you can get a health rune if there is a health rune close to your city get that one if not get the troop defense rune because it really makes a difference and last but not least try to use a health skin for your dedicated troop type if you can to have better reports to have less severely wounded units in your hospital but obviously once you get a legendary city skin you can change it it is 100 acceptable now let's quickly take a look at his marches and his equipment oh my lord he's a complete free to play and look at his equipment Xiang Yu, his main primary commander as you can tell from his equipment his second primary is alexander nasky and the third one is saladin his three marches at this moment are saladin ysg alexander william Xiang Yu, and john of arc and his william is not expertise his saladin is not expertise they both are 5551 five, that's why i keep saying that saladin and william both at 5551 five, are great investments for free to play players people usually have nevsky and john xy and william but he prefers nevsky and william xy and john and i asked him about it why you are playing xy and john instead of nevsky and john because everybody plays nevsky and john and he said the only reason is xy is able to cast his skill faster and usually he gets the main equipment and that's why he's using xy and john of arc but if things get a little bit worse he usually go with one march and it is xy nevsky equipment on guan yu guan yu equipment on Xiang yu is pretty crazy but the one on saladin is 100 doable also the one on alexander nevsky if you just exclude this kvk helm is also pretty doable spartan from future here while i was editing the video i noticed that i forgot to talk about attila takeda and pakal herald these two marches are the main marches that comes to people's mind when it comes to getting kills it is true that Atil Takeda and Pakal Herald are the most efficient marches and what I mean by efficient is that you are going to get very small amount of hospital bills compared to huge amount of kills that you are going to get but the problem is these marches are literally banned to use in open field in certain kingdoms high level Imperium KVK kingdoms because even though they are super efficient at getting kills they are not helping the cause the main cause of the open field fighting in Rise of Kingdoms which is killing the enemy marches as fast as you can they are dealing a lot of damage but they are doing it very very slowly that's why my recommendation is without having at least like four high skill damage suitable marches for open field and you will see when you try to migrate they're going to ask you about your commanders you're going to send them screenshots and 
if they see, let's say, Attila Takeda and Pakal Herald instead of Guan Sipio and XY Nevsky, they're going to say, like, what the hell is this, <laughs> right? So you want to avoid that without having some proper marches for open field fighting, high skill damage, deal as much as damage as you can in very short amount of time. Don't go for these commanders, don't go for these marches, even though, as I said, they are very efficient. They are still really good at doing certain things. For example, I use my Atatakeda to rally cities, or Pakal Herald is crazy in Ruins fight. You're going to get a lot of kills with that one march only, but that's it. These are not the priority marches that you want to use in big open field brawls, in big murder balls. Some of you may already know, I have already switched my Takeda to Nevsky. Right now, I'm using, instead of Atatakeda, I'm using Attila and Nevsky. And when I get my Joan of Arc to a usable spot, when I upgrade her skills to 5515, I'm going to try that. For my one cavalry march only, I will now start using Nevsky Joan instead of Atsa Takeda. And Atsa Takeda, I will specifically use them for city rallies and nothing else. Because as I said, in open field, you need to deal a lot of damage and you need to do it fast. Sorry for the interruption. Let's keep going. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We discussed the best tips from an amazing free-to-play player how to get more kills as a free-to-play in Rise of Kingdoms. We talked about his marches, his equipment, and his civilization. And if you think any of the information was useful or helpful in this video, please hit the like, hit the subscribe so that I can do more informative Rise of Kingdoms videos. And as always, a huge thank you to our channel members. Thank you guys so much for your crazy support. Here, you can find the first part of this video that is related to getting more kills with T4s. It's not for just for free-to-plays, but it's for T4s, so it's kind of like for free-to-plays. i see you guys on that video. Bye.